Guess what? The dreaded red tide is back and blooming in Pinellas County, according to Florida Fish and Wildlife officials. Eight on your side is working to learn how it's impacting beachgoers and wildlife. Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christy McClarty is live on Indian Shores Beach today. Normally a beautiful spot to be on a day like this, but I'm guessing you're smelling and feeling some things out there. That's right. The second that your toes hit the sand, you notice the smell. As you start walking towards the water, you begin coughing, and then you see this. Well, this is our weekly <clears throat> trip to the beach. I come here every Wednesday with my mom and my daughters. Judy Robbins says today they immediately noticed a change. We were having a little bit of a cough, a little difficulty breathing, and uh, you could also kind of smell it in the air but there was also um, help here picking up dead fish on the beach, so we knew that there was probably red tide. Sure enough, according to samples taken by Florida Fish and Wildlife, the red tide algae bloom is at a moderate level on Indian Shores, Reddington, and Pasigrill beaches. We're very concerned about this. Clearwater Marine Aquarium Research Institute Executive Director James Powell says they're very worried about animals like fish and manatees getting sick and dying. But he says for most humans, unless you have respiratory issues, red tide is mostly just an annoyance. These little red tide organisms, when they die, they release a neurotoxin, and so it can become an aerosol, and people can actually inhale this when they're walking along the beach. Robin says while irritating, she's not letting red tide be inhibiting. The water is beautiful, it's warm, and it's, yeah, it's not stopping us from getting in. We spoke with many people today who are seeing the dead fish along the seaweed here at the beach. Now, according to Mort Marine Aquarium, if you find some of these dead fish on shore, don't eat them. That's a sure way to get sick. Coming up live at 6 o'clock, details how red tide can impact our economy. So, Christine, I feel like I should know more about red tide after being here 21 years, but um, can they track it? Are there any other blooms outside of Pinellas? Uh, what more do we know? Yeah, so they can track it through sampling the water, and FWC does say that there are also moderate blooms just south of the Skyway and as far down as Cape Coral, but there's no telling where it's going to pop up next. No, it's no fun. Tourists don't want red tide. All right, thanks. Christy McClarty reporting live on Indian Shores Beach.